the moment that I came off stage and I knew that I nailed it under the pressure of the contest. Now, it's not about winning a contest. It's whatever pressure you're under giving your presentations. And I didn't know if I had won. I had no control over the other contestants. None. You don't either. But you have a lot more control over you and how you prepare and who you learn from. And that's what led me to that moment that I knew I nailed it. Did you ever give a speech sometime or ask to speak and you weren't fully prepared? You get up and you, you, know, you do okay, but as soon as you're walking out the room, you're like, oh, why didn't I do that? Oh, that would have been perfect. Oh, let me do that again. <laughs> but the moment's gone. The thought was there all the time. You just weren't able to access it because of the pressure you had up here. After winning the championship, I came back to Boston. I went back to my day job. I used to work at Bose Corporation, the stereo speaker company. And this coworker walks up to me and she says, Darren, she says, congratulations. You're lucky to be able to get up in front of an audience and speak like that. <laughs> lucky? Come here. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. See, so many people think you're born with it or you're not. You're born as a great orator or you're not. You're born as a funny person or you're not. And it's not the case. It's a process. And some people are just farther along that process than you. They've had more experience. They've been on stage more often. They've been farther down that stage time continuum. See, there is that 1% who are naturals. I hate them too. Because <laughs> they make us all look bad. They make us feel bad. And we think that we should have just been born that way. But it's not the case. But the coolest thing is, you know, when I say it's a process, a lot of people think, ooh, a process, how sexy. <laughs> but that really is the coolest part because that means you and I can learn the process. You and I can put ourselves in that situation and keep getting up on stage and, and get more comfortable and get more confident. That's the best part, that we can all learn it. But we have to let go of thinking it's just going to be given to us and realize we are 100% responsible. See, what this woman saw was the end result. What she didn't see was the beginning in 1992 when I took the stage for the first time. So let me take you back now to the beginning. As I said in my speech, I was driving down the road listening to Brian Tracy, and he said, what would you dare to dream if you knew you wouldn't fail? And I thought, I'd be a comedian. How cool would that be? Someday go to St. Louis? <laughs> <laughs> you got a dream, dream big! <laughs> but seriously, I thought, how cool would it be to make an audience laugh and earn a living at that? But all of a sudden, that little voice in my head, but that's not you, Darren, you're not a funny person. But that wasn't the question. The question wasn't, what will you be good at? What do you think you'd be good at? The question is, what would you dare to dream if you knew you wouldn't fail? So I thought, I'd be a comedian. That'd be the ultimate. So let me ask you a question. If you wanted to be a comedian, if that was your hope or dream or desire, who would you go to learn how to be a comedian? Who would you go to? Anyone? A comedian, yes! Doesn't that make logical sense? That's so perfect. It's so real, so simple. So guess what I did? I went to my family. <laughs> <sighs> if you have any hope, any dream, any desire, don't go to your family for inspiration. <laughs> well, see, the problem was, even though their heart was in the right place and they meant well, when I said that I wanted to be a comedian, they compared me to Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> someone just thinking about it to someone at the top of their profession. It's not a fair evaluation, but it's human nature. And see, they thought they knew, and yet they had never been to a comedy show, never watched one on TV, and never known a comedian. So how could they possibly know that process? 